Yo guys, what's up? Khaled here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we're going to be doing a Jamal Musiala Future Stars review. So, getting into the player bio, he's 6 foot tall with high medium work rate, right footed primarily with 5 star skills and he does also have a 4 star weak foot. So this card is not 5 star 5 star but definitely the skill move boost on the card is pretty solid. So I've given him the hog cam cell, he can start a centre mid, left mid and cam. Bayern Munich links, Bundesliga links, German links, and he comes in at a whopping 1.4 to 1.5 million coins, which is a lot of money. So when it comes down to the attribute details on the card, as I said, I've given him the Hawk chem style. So with the Hawk chem style, pace goes up to 91, so does the attack positioning and finishing. Shot power flies up to 90, and long shots goes up to 93. Passing on the card stays the same, but it does look like some pretty solid passing stats. 89 vision with 95 short pass and 86 long pass. I'm expecting this guy's quick short interplay passes to be pretty good. When it comes down to the dribbling, 98 agility, 99 balance, 95 dribbling with 93 ball control. He also has 89 reactions and composure. Defending on the card is solid enough. Obviously, this guy can play center mid if you really want to. And when it comes down to the physical, he does get a plus 8 to the jumping. 96 stamina, so I am expecting him to last the full 90. 70 strength, I feel as though it does need a little bit of a boost, which is why I've given him the Hawk and not the Hunter Camp cell. Aggression goes up by 8, though taking it all the way up to 82. When it comes down to the traits on the card, as you guys will see in a second, he does have the Solid Player trait, Finesse Shot trait, Flare trait, and the Flare Passes trait. I'm going to be playing this card at Cam and Center Mid in a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow and a 4-2-3-1. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 92 rated foot future stars Jamal Musiala and straight off the bat starting it off with a very very good volley. I mean that's not easy at all. Basically hooks the ball from behind him, gets enough power behind it on that 4 star weak foot to loop it over the goalkeeper and is right into the corner of the net. On to the next clip of this game, Musiala gets it into follow. Follow holds up the play well, Musiala makes the run beyond him, takes a touch, good control and good physicality to hold off the defender as well and he tucks it away. I'm expecting him to score that and he does. On to the next clip, the first assist of this video. This is with him in the left attacking mid position so I did try him out on either side of the cam position as well but he just cuts it back onto his right foot, makes that pass and Rafinha ends up scoring. On to the next clip, the next match here, Mascherano knocks it down to Musiala, takes a touch, great dribbling, keeps it very, very close, his body just walks around the goalkeeper and he tucks it away, great dribbling from Jamal Musiala and we do end up scoring the third goal of this video. On to the next clip of this match, Bale finds Rafinha, Rafinha finds Osimhen and Musiala does very well, great run made from him, once he's in that position, he's not going to miss, takes a touch and finesses it beyond the goalkeeper once more. On the 4 star we put but good running from him, great awareness, knows where the space is, drops into it, Carlos is running behind the defender and he tucks away the chance at the end of it. Here though, creating a chance for Rudy Fowler, just dings it into him and well, the finish is pretty straightforward. In this scenario, just dropping deep, basically as he would at that centre mid position, Kingsley Coleman has it, plays it in behind, Rudy Fowler is through and scores but all that possible because of that ability that Musiala has to pick a pass from defensive positions as he did in that situation to find Kingsley Coleman. Here, Fowler gets it into Musiala, another perfectly weighted pass. Rafinha, who's running through on goal, is able to collect it in his stride and score a very, very good goal. By the way, if you guys want to see a review on him, I will make one. I'm in the process of making one anyway, so there will be a Rafinha video shortly after this. Here, Musiala, just look at the strength on this card and what a pass that is. Perfectly weighted out to Carvajal. Unfortunately, his cross is nothing alike, but great physicality, good strength to hold off his man, and a fantastic pass across the pitch with the outside of his boot. On to the next clip. It's 85 minutes, time is running out. We need another goal just to seal this game off, and Musiala gets it for us. A tap in, but knows where the space is once more, runs into it, and he scores a run that this guy makes. is genuinely pretty good, especially considering that he's basically a centre mid, so. Genuinely, this guy's attack positioning is very solid. Here, one of the most jammy goals I will ever score all FIFA. I tried to apologize to this guy, but I did the wrong celebration by mistake. But if you watch this video, which I doubt you will, and I score the goal against you, I am really, really sorry. But onto the next clip, showcasing the dribbling again with this Musiala card. Doesn't get past Koulibaly there, but good defending, puts in a very good tackle to win the ball back. Can I just create a chance here? Brilliant quick dribbling, gets into the box, 
fake shot to create the space and he tucks it away. Ridiculous left stick dribbling there from Musiala. You don't even need to use 5 star skills with this card. That's how good the dribbling is. But genuinely great dribbling and a good finish at the end of it. Here Maldini finds Valverde. He gets that into Musiala. Takes the touch and what a pass that is outside of the boot. Again just dinks it in behind the defenders. Curls it into follows pass. I wanted to go for the guaranteed goal so I went for the sweaty. Instead of getting the assist. Well, the stacks which would give us the assist to Musiala, and we do end up scoring eventually with Belverde. So, yeah, great dribbling gets into the box. Keeper pulls off a ridiculous save. Musiala, though, really should be putting that further into the corner, but this goal, no complaints. Belverde finds Musiala, takes a touch, goes for goal, and what a volley that is. Keeper sends absolutely no chance. Smash into the back of the net. Honestly, if he tries to stop there, he's probably losing an arm. But great finish from Musiala and we do end up taking the lead in that game because of him and we do end up doubling the lead, well doubling our goal tally actually in this game because of him as well. An easy goal compared to the first one but a goal nonetheless to cap off this video. So as you guys will see from the player bio, a pretty solid goal return considering he played at centre mid, cam, lamb, ram and striker as a false nine for most of it but genuinely this guy 11 games, 10 goals, 3 assists, 13 goal contributions from basically all over the place. The versatility on this card is definitely something I have to commend. It is very very useful because this guy can play cam, he can play out wide, he has the pace to play out wide and he can definitely play centre mid. He has the physical presence and the defensive capabilities to play centre mid as well. So the pace on the card, I think the hunter, sorry, the hawk camp style is the way to go. With the Hawk Kemp style, the pace on the card is pretty good. You can easily run it behind and very easily accelerate away from players. But that's kind of expected with the 96 acceleration. So when it comes down to the pace, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Shooting on the card, now the long shots and the shot power with the Hawk Kemp style is pretty solid. You guys saw the volume that he scored was absolutely insane. The finishing on the card is solid inside the box, on the left foot, on the right foot. Most of the time, he will tuck it away. So shooting, obviously, is not the best part of the card, but... He can definitely shoot, he can tuck away his chances when he needs to. So shooting does get an 8.6 out of 10. Runs though on this card are very very good which was pretty unexpected. When it comes down to the passing on the card, sensational. Now it's only 86 passing as a face stat due to the low free kick accuracy, curve and crossing but the short passing and long passing is sensational. The one outside foot pass he made to Carvajal and the other one that he just dinked in behind for follow were beautiful passes. So passing in my opinion does deserve a 9 out of 10. I know it's very high but I do think he deserves it. Dribbling. This is an interesting one. I don't think the dribbling was as good as it should be. Now you guys saw some excellent dribbling throughout the video but I used him for quite a lot of games and I genuinely think the dribbling was a little underwhelming especially for a 1.4 million coin card where dribbling is supposed to be a strong point. I've used better dribblers in this game that cost 200,000 coins. So genuinely players like Paulo Dybala's one to watch card for example dribbles better than this Musiala card. I know it's saying a lot and I know Musiala has 5 star skills but take away the 5 star skills and the dribbling, the actual dribbling on Dybala is better but the 5 star skills does of course make a big difference I can't just say take it out. So dribbling does get still a 9.5 out of 10 but I expected it to be basically one of the best dribbling I have used this FIFA and it, it just wasn't but dribbling is still definitely the best part of the card so 9.5 out of 10. Defending is solid you can put in a good tackle and keep the ball afterwards 8 out of 10 and physical this guy is pretty strong I was kind of surprised by so uh, and he does lost the full 90 as well so genuinely physical does deserve in my opinion an 8 out of 10 as well. Is this card worth 1.4 million coins? No. Straight up no I don't think he's worth 1.4 million coins. I think most of the hype around him is what makes him that expensive. Him being Jamal Musiala, such a highly anticipated future stars card is probably the reason why he is that price. I genuinely don't think he warrants the 1.4 million coin price tag that he has. If he was under like 800k around um, Kravaskelia's price, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I think he, he deserves to be around that price, not really over 1 million, I wouldn't say so. So yeah, I genuinely think this card is a bit expensive. If he drops later on under a million show, by all means go pick it up. Even if you'd like Musiala and real life, just pick him up now if you want to. But for those of you wanting to play him in the team, get him and use him, I don't think he's worth the 1.4 million coins. So best camp style, I'd say is the Hawk camp style. And with that being said, best position is the camp position. 
without further ado i do many ends the video if you like this smash the thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until then guys stay tuned for the next one peace